Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for another Heyday video. Now it's time for sneak peek number 5. This is the final sneak peek and it has all of the information you need to know about the update and other items coming as per the thumbnail. Now, first of all, as a content creator, I'm part of the Supercell Creator Program, which gives me a few extra perks sometimes, and one of those perks is using the dev build. So I'm going to be using that throughout this video, in addition to showing you a lot of things that are coming. For example, we're getting a new user interface. This means that certain features are going to be changing within the game of Heyday. So you're used to seeing one specific kind of layout, now you're going to be seeing another kind of layout. You got a bit of a team from this in my video yesterday. Now the new layout itself is definitely much easier and more comfortable on the eye. It feels a lot smoother, it feels softer and it feels very modern indeed. And I think this is part of those uh, gamer player focus that the company is going with this year. So they're trying to make the game a little bit more comfortable for us users. And there'll be a lot of changes coming throughout the year that I'm excited for, that when I get all the information, I will share that with you. But in the meantime, the user interface has changed. Now, as I said, I've got the dev build, which is allowing me to see these changes. And throughout the video, I'm going to be showing you the dev build and the information at the same time, so you get a realistic scenario of the kind of things that are coming. And maybe as I start progressing through doing more videos for you in the future, I'll be using that dev build to showcase a lot of changes, events, and up and coming items, in addition to special videos as well. Right, let me give you an example of the new user interface. Now you've seen the introduction to the user interface and me saying there's a dev build, let's show you more details on the screen. So this recording you've got now is actually in the developer's build. And I can't show you everything because it's for me to use and not for you to see. But you can see the actual imagery now of what the game is going to look like after you have updated it. So I mentioned like all of the new icons have changed, everything's pushed more off to the side. So instead of having like everything smack in the middle at the top now, it's pushed more to the left. You've got different buttons, you've got different features, a different icon layout. It's a much softer feeling in my personal view and it looks more modern as well. Now as an example, if I tap on some of these icons like the 184 level for this farm. You can see it says Red Knight's test build. You can see the layout itself is definitely much softer in coloration and it has that very nice like kind of a woody feel to it which I do like. If I slide on over and tap on some of the other buttons you'll see down here that those three little yellow lines now give you the edit mode and the settings so things are going to be in different places but not too much, not too much. If I click on the edit mode as per the imagery I showed you earlier, you can see the same kind of format and layout. Uh, instructions are still there, but it's more comfortable to look at. If we look down at the shop, the layout that we were given last time is still there. You can see all of the animals and the machines and everything else. Nothing has changed down there. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, okay, you'll see your boosters down there. That's no different than normal. You'll see the actual farm pass icon now, which is brand new that allows you to see the farm pass more smoothly. You can still tap on the building if you wanted to, but if you are elsewhere within the game, you don't want to go back to it. It's much easier. Uh, remember in the past that when it comes down to certain features like if we head on over to the fishing area uh, you would tap on the little chick down there which would take you to the farm pass. So if you don't want to tap on the chick you've got this icon which makes it a lot smoother as well. You'll see down here in the bottom left hand corner the return to the house icon is different and there's a lot more features down there that I do like. Click on the envelope that's in the top left hand corner that gives you the inbox so again a nice little separation of things. You can see my video in the box there as well along with the waffle maker from my friend Gizmo as well. Uh, I'll be uploading this video today. 
Um, you can see down there I've got my friends list and bar as well and I'm afraid because this is a developer build you can't actually access this with me so it's not one that I can interact with you uh, another good thing about this you can see up here you've got the little bunny rabbit on the top right hand side I can see what it's like to start events early and prepare those and start looking at those events before you actually get it so with the Easter one that's up and coming at the moment uh, you can see a good example of some of the actual items that are coming uh, now that doesn't mean that the dev build will be exactly the same as the final product so please be very aware of that so if I do make videos using this it's not always guaranteed to be exactly the same you will see the levels changing you will see my diamond amounts changing you will see my coin changing you will see my, my barn says more than my actual farm so this is a fake farm it's not a real farm it's one I'm using for testing and making videos and being a little bit more creative with things that I can do for you uh, I like it it's a wonderful new feature now let's go back to the next introduction and then I'll come back to this in a moment and show you what I'm talking about as well the next item, as you can see, is new land. That's right, everybody. You've been asking for it, and the heyday is delivering. I did think there was a possibility of new land being added to the game at some stage, especially over in the area that this has been added. So we've got a lot of new plots that need to be open with a lot of wonderful items included in that land. And again, I'll show you in the dev video a little bit later. Now, in total, there are 31 new plots, as you can see down there. I've numbered them up. They are going to require either your regular land experience expansion materials or they're going to require permits now some of these items will include decoration some of them will include existing deco and some will include new deco let's have a look at some of those right the first set of deco we've got that is really really cool is these two pieces down here and I absolutely love the one on the right hand side uh, and I can't wait to actually get my hands on this one now there are two new pieces that are very deco related the first one is the crafts corner this this one would be very good I think if you're going to place this in like a bit of a kids play area on the farm maybe create something in the town could be very nice indeed other than that I can't see where and how you would use this one very effectively now the next one which I really want is the temple ruins and this is the one that really is very cool indeed and I hope I can get more of these added to the game later because I can make a wonderful sanctuary style design using this piece and I think it would be really really good now I'm getting my wish within the game I've been asking heyday for trees 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 and even more trees and they have delivered I've been asking for seasonal trees that relate to winter spring summer that can be used that are also very very beautiful but also different from the ones we got within the game and you can see some of the trees now now let's have a look at those trees the first one we got down there is a weeping willow tree I like this that's gonna be really really cool I can predict my town sanctuary and farm would look wonderful with this and they're very tempted to keep some of the actual dead water patches to place this in that surrounding area because it would look wonderful hanging over now we got large ones we've got small ones so perfect indeed we don't always want big trees but sometimes a small tree is perfect so we're going to get small weeping willows at the same time as well what do you think so far I'm loving this update next one we got down there is a weeping cherry tree now living in Japan I love cherry trees this one is very beautiful indeed and this is the perfect season to get it however I can't yet open up this bit of land on my main farm at least not until after the update I got a lot of work to do next one is the ones I want these are the winter to style ones that I'm very happy about and this is a small blue spruce that's a lot of words and letters I love the design I like the way it looks and I think that's going to look wonderful as I make a beautiful winter scape with my farm or my town now we've got the medium blue spruce which is a little bit uh, darker in color but again a very nice blend so some very very gorgeous trees if I do say so for this and it does look wonderful I like new land but I especially like the decoration that we get within it now those of you that say you've been wanting more land you've got an opportunity now to start expanding so uh, trading those expansion materials and working on your derby to get those permits the permits are the bits that are going to slow you down but once you've got all the permits then you can get that beautiful angel trumpet tree as well
Now, exactly where is this new piece of land? What does it look like? What I'm going to do is to go into the dev build again, slide on over to the area and show you exactly where it is and what it looks like. OK, we're again back in the dev build, showing you where the new land is located. Now, up till now, we've been able to expand across the road with this is wonderful area down here, as I just showed you. Now, the brand new land is over here. So remember with the game, you could slide on over. You could see a little mushroom hut there that was in the trees and the bushes. And I said, there's a strong possibility that this would be the next area to open. And it is. You can see a lot of land pieces down here that can be opened up uh, and you can then expand more. So if I start clicking on some of these items here, it says land needs to be connected. I just go and do that now, open that one up and we can start coming down and then opening up this new land and getting the decoration. So there's existing decoration and then there's new decoration as well. And this will give you a wonderful opportunity to do a lot more and I think you're going to like it a lot now I can't do this one I don't have the permits but this is where the whole brand new land is located um, if you're looking for information on this I can tell you exactly how much it is but these gorgeous new trees are what I really want as well uh, but I'm afraid that mushroom path I can't put that into storage which I was really hoping for uh, again, you've got trees over here if you want to chop them down and get rid of them to redecorate and design. And the great thing about this being the, the dev build as well, I can do all of this and I can have fun. Now, you can't chop down the mushrooms, you can't get rid of them, but that's a whole sequence of land down there with existing and new decoration. A lot of you were saying you need more land for new machines. You've got a load of land, a lot of land in this case. Uh, so my goal of hopefully opening up by the end of the year now non-existent. OK, right, let's go back to the next part of the update. We saw the feathers, but we didn't guess which birds it would be. Well, now we know. You've got the family of existing birds there welcoming two wonderful additions to the bird Avery on the farm. Now, we did guess it would be for the Avery based on the feedback it and other things in the sneak peek. We were looking at feathers and we had a lot of options down there. But at the end of the day, Heyday decided to give us some pelicans. And I'm rather happy about that because they do look cute. So we are getting two brand new pelicans for the birdhouse. Now, as usual, those birds will cost you chick vouchers plus regular vouchers and you can get them in the game and then as usual you can feed those birds using the feed buckets and again I'll show you more details a little bit later in this video as we go into the dev build now exactly which vouchers do you need in addition to the chick, vouch uh, chick vouchers let's go and find out so the first one we've got is the Dalmatian pelican that's where the black and the white feather kind of came from this is nine chick vouchers and 12 of the blues again available from level 20 and above so you can pick and choose which one you would like to go for and collect remember you don't have to get all of these birds you can just choose one or two of them but you've got the selection and the choice to choose from just make sure you've got enough vouchers for it and you don't have too many in stock that you've not spent now if you do have vouchers in stock that you haven't spent maybe you'd like to buy the brown pelican I like this one a lot I really really do of the two pelicans I think this is probably my favorite one because I like the color scheme of the head there that gray and black feather down there nine chick vouchers and eight of the purple again from level 20 I'm going to enjoy adding these to my collection in fact let's head on over to the dev build and have a look at them okay we're back at the dev build again to show you the brand new pets that we are getting let's slide on down to my event area now if I go to the animal pens and I slide on down with the animal pens you can see the beautiful bird house there which is available for 10,000 gold coins I bring that in place that into the center that will now allow me to add my animals and with the chick vouchers I've got over here uh, I can actually start collecting now we know where chick vouchers come from they're from the farm pass and a few other events but it does allow you to add these birds to the Avery and if we open up the actual pet section slide on down you can see those brand new pelicans and they do look very nice indeed so there is the Dalmatian pelican and there is the brown pelican and you can see 9 and 12 9 and 8 down there now if I slide those out wonderful flying emotion 
And then again, the next one on the slide that Dan likes the peck of his feathers. Now we know why they were different color feathers. Now I never would have guessed they were these birds from the sneak peeks. Uh, I really wouldn't have. Uh, I'm glad they've got two interesting birds added in. Um, and I think they are going to make an additional wonderful set of pets to have. Now as usual they need feeding so we go down and slide some feeding there. And they take turns feeding. One sits on the bucket, kicks it out of the way. Another one finishes eating and passes it back. Animation. I've actually realized it did that before. This dead bill is going to be very useful for me actually being able to see what the animals do in more detail. Right, they're both asleep. They're both ready to be woken up. So let's go to the whistle, do that. And they wake and they start flapping. Lovely indeed. Now, will they be the animals that you want to add? Will you be able to get them sooner rather than later? I don't know. There's a lot of beautiful birds down there. Uh, I'm hoping that more will be added as we progress through. I think they're wonderful, but I'd also like to see some other pets as well at some stage. Okay, right. That's me saying goodbye from this. Let's go back to the main part of the video again. In yesterday's sneak peek, you actually saw me revealing the Waffle Makers, two brand new machines that are coming to the game from level 114 onwards. Now, I do like machines. Uh, they do cost more coinage as you start to progress the game, but as you start leveling up, coins are not such an issue. Uh, we all play the game, so coins just build up, build up, build up, so I don't mind the actual cost. For those of you who don't know the prices, it's going to cost you 1,250,000 gold coins. Seems like a lot when you're a low level player, but don't stress it, you've got other machines to buy. And if you can't afford it, wait until you can because you're not ready for it yet. 89 diamonds to speed it up takes 96 hours to turn it around. So I'm probably going to let this one just sink around because I'm going to be saving my diamonds for something else that's coming within the game. Now, the waffle maker produces two waffles, as I told you yesterday. Very, very delicious and very yummy looking. I do like waffles. I wish I could have these now, but I'm afraid I had pizza for lunch and I'm slightly full up. However, I do have a dessert stomach and I'm sure I could fit both of those in there. In fact, more than both of those probably go for both three times the amount. Now, if I wanted to eat them, I'd need to wait till I'm level 114 like the machine. It takes 25 minutes to make the plain waffle and 24 experience points and three diamonds to speed it up. So, yeah, I could go with that one. I really, really could. Now, the three diamonds to speed up is one option. When you watch the dev video in a moment, you'll see that there's actually another option for all production machines that allow you to speed it up a little bit more. Now, plain waffles, you've got two sugars down there. You've got three eggs and five wheat. That's not so bad. We got two sugar mills, so I don't mind this too much. However, it is becoming very challenging uh, producing sugar and dairy goods at the moment within the game. So I'm hoping hoping that this year Hayder will make some more adjustments in that region and with other production machines. Next one we got down there is where you can sell that waffle. Now as I said in my video yesterday, you can sell the plain waffles in the B&B. &B. Now I like going on holiday and I like eating breakfast. Breakfast, waffles for breakfast, perfect, not a problem indeed. However, if I do have waffles, I like to have something on them. So ice cream, syrup, honey, sugar, many things. So for example, I could make myself a berry waffle. Three waffles together, coated with lots of berries. Yummy, 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 yummy indeed. Level 114 again, 35 minutes, 72 experience points and three diamonds to speed that one up. Or because it's a production machine, you can use the new add speed up surface which I'll show you in a moment in the dev build. Two waffles, more storage required in the bar, not a problem indeed because I'll be using some ingredients to make this. I'll be using the berries and I'll be using the waffle I've just made as the plain one and syrup as well. Now not a lot of syrups required on this one so that's kind of not so bad so two whites and one syrup to make a berry waffle. I could cope with that. The biggest issue there is definitely going to be growing the berries but again I don't mind that because that's a lot of experience points. Now we can sell that berry 
Fairy Waffle in the town as well. And if we head on down to the beach hut, we can sit there, enjoy the view across the ocean, gazing over at the sanctuary, watching the sunset, eating berry waffles. Or shall I say, it's watching the sun rise in the morning, because I like these for breakfast more than I do for dinner. Dinner time, I like to eat other food very much so, but very delicious indeed. Let's go check the video. Okay, welcome back to the dev build again. Now, we're going to be looking at the waffle maker. So I slide on down to my event area one more time and we head on over to the machines. Now we find the machines and the waffle maker is brand new. It's all the way at the end. Uh, if you look at the waffle maker, you can see down there, as I said, it's 1,250,000. 1, now we slide that one down there. Now, speeding it up, we can do that with diamonds. So let's just do that quickly. And that machine is now opened. And as we zoom in, you can see the butterflies flying away. Now that I'm actually using the dev build, I can show you another feature and some of the changes in relation to the user interface, which is going to be affecting all of the machines as well. So if we click on the machine, you can see that it allows us to expand on the production line by again adding and using diamonds. So we click on that one. The pricing doesn't change on that one. It's still the same, still the same number of slots at the moment. Now I'm hoping this will change in the future, but we will see as Heyday starts progressing. Now, remember, I did mention earlier in the year that Heyday is looking at uh, certain things within the game to make the game a little bit easier and more comfortable for you. Now, sometimes it will be beneficial, sometimes not. But uh, one of the features we're going to have is part of the machines now, and this will allow you to produce certain goods a little bit faster. Now, sometimes not beneficial, other times really good. The choice is yours. Now, we've got the plain waffles. You'll see the new user interface on that one as well. The barn up in the top right-hand corner tells you how many of the storage you've got. Also tells you the items you've got in storage plus what you need to make the goods. So we slide the waffle maker down. Now, the first thing you notice about that, there is a little speed and clock icon there and also the diamond. Now the clock icon is different. If I add in another item to production and I keep producing these like so, uh, you'll notice that there's no clock showing up there. It's only in the first slot. Now I can speed up production by using diamonds. There we go. I've just spent three diamonds. Now not everybody has diamonds, which is why I do like this new feature. Let's just say I click on that new feature. It allows me to reduce the production time by 50%. Now, imagine this with the jam machine. Imagine this with certain items that take ages to produce and you are in a hurry and you need to get that item done, whether for Derby task or whatever else, you don't have enough diamonds. So you want to speed it up by 50%. So we're going to watch an advertisement and then the reward is faster. Now, some of you may not want to watch an advertisement. You may not be interested in doing that but it allows you to speed up that one item. And then the great thing about it, you get to produce that good a little bit faster. So let's activate that one. Right, as you can see, after watching the advertisement, the production time is now much less, so by 50%. Now, if I wanted to, I could still use diamonds to speed it up, uh, and that's one diamond less than what it was. Okay, I've still got to wait for it to finish its production, but it's now half the time. Very useful, I think, with longer producing items. Now, if I want to watch another advertisement to speed up things again, it says the cut is now active. Next one is in one minute and six so many odd seconds. So if we wait the one minute and so many odd seconds, I wonder, will we be able to get a cut again? So you can reduce it down and down and down and down. Let's find out. We've only got to wait 50 odd seconds now and we can check. waiting, watching. I do like watching the machines, I must admit, it's fun. This is the great thing about the dev build as well. I can test out these features, see what's happening, seeing what's changed, and then it makes me, s or makes it so much easier for me to be able to give you a lot more for uh, events and activities and info. I'm really happy I've got this access now. Right, click on the clock, 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17, we can count, yay. Let's load up my machine with another product while I'm waiting, there we go. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I was asked about the size, by the way, uh, in comparison to other machines, is it big or small? So if we bring out another machine there, you can see size comparison. That will give you a good indication on what it looks like. Uh, and again, if I speed up a machine there, open that one up, you'll see very similar options again for loading and opening. Boom, 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 boom. Do that again. Press spend my diamonds, bring down some products. You see down there 50% on this one. Uh, the clock on this one is now the cut is now active. So as you can see, it's not letting me uh, do any more. But I can now do it on this machine by reducing that hour and 59 down to basically one hour. Uh, very cool indeed. So it's not just the one machine, it's all of the machines. If we come to the Jam Maker as an example, slide that one in there, speed that one up. Yeah, load a product that takes many hours. You'll see the cut reduced 50% off. So down to basically three and a half hours from seven and a half hours. I'm not going to say no to that. So watching an advertisement or spending nine gems, at least one of my products will be done faster. Now it's a shame I can't do it for all of them and reduce the clock on that one but you'll see down there 25 minutes on that 35 25 35 reducing the time down very handy indeed what do you think let me know congratulations to everybody who guessed pomegranate trees you were right in your thinking however i still think that top part looks a little bit different now we're getting brand new trees within the game so the opportunity for us to plant trees in different locations around our farm to make it look more beautiful with the new land we're going to have a lot of opportunities these trees will produce fruit which is the pomegranate and pomegranates can be used to make some wonderful products as you'll see in a moment but how much is it going to cost and what xp do we get that's the key thing now it's from level 107 okay it takes 27 hours from start to finish to grow one of those trees it's 45 experience points it costs you 17 diamonds to speed up and 910 coins so how many trees would you like to get i'm tempted to get quite a lot of these as you see in my video later i'll show you the cycle as you work your way through them they look very beautiful indeed and i must admit i do like the design on this one now pomegranates can be sold in the town you've got two buildings that will request those one is the grocers of course so and the other one is that beautiful beach hut now the beach hut is probably going to require those because everybody likes to eat pomegranates and can use them in some wonderful drinks and juices uh, in addition to that you can also use the pomegranates uh, in many other pies cakes and whatever else and speaking of pies and cakes and drinks we've got some coming into the game as well so two products that will be brought into the game that use pomegranates one is a gorgeous just drink and one is a lovely cake now looking at both of those designs there oh yes I could drink that now and I could eat that now uh, trouble is I'm still so full up from lunch for having the pizza but then again a tea would be very nice usually drink part barley tea but a nice tea would be good but the question is where do I buy the tea well if you head on over to the tea stand that's the actual location for making this tea now the question is though how much uh, will you get for it if you're making and selling this one what amount of XP do we get uh, and if I do decide to produce this do I have enough storage to store everything oh no I need to upgrade my barn a little bit more thank God the dev build is a lot more than my main game not so good right now level 107 for the pomegranate tea 35 minutes to turn this one around, which isn't too bad. 37 experience points, okay, and three diamonds to speed it up. Now, to get one of these, you are definitely going to be needing a lot of trees. And trees do take some time to actually grow. So you're not going to be wanting to do too many of these orders straight away, unless, of course, you use Tom and you speed up them, some of them. Now, the next item we've got down on there is the ingredients. Now, both of these ingredients do take some time to produce. The tea leaves are a crop that takes quite some time, and you need four of those for this one. 
Now, the T-stand is a nice stand. It does take time to turn things around. But once you've got the basic resources, you can just make it and leave it. Just wish we had some boosters that would speed those up a little bit more. But with the new production speed up, will be very handy indeed. Now, once you do start making the tea, you can also sell that one in the town as well. And again, two locations will be requesting that tea product from you. One is the diner, of course, and the other one is the spa. What a wonderful place to go to and drink some tea. Relax, enjoy the heat, and then have a nice cup of tea afterwards. Or maybe head on down to the diner and have yourself a nice little pomegranate piece of cake and a tea as well. Now the cake is pomegranate. It looks lovely indeed. I want to try this one. It's produced in the cake oven, of course. Now we already can produce a lot of cake, so this one again is going to create a bit of a burden on our production cycle. So a lot more management again is going to be needed to actually produce this cake. But the question is, what level and how much? Okay, well let's go find out. This one's a level 108. It takes 160 minutes, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, 38 experience points on this one once you've uh, collected it, which is pretty good. And if you want to speed it up, that's six diamonds. I don't think I'll be speeding this one up. Uh, but to reduce the time down with the booster can be very handy indeed. So I might do that a few times. Now, the question is, what do I need to make it? Well, we're going to need cream. Oh, my goodness me, cream. Eggs, wheat, and pomegranates. So, wheat and eggs ain't so bad, but the actual cream is the issue that I've got, as usual, with this one. So, a lot of dairy products still being used with certain of the products that we've got in the game. Thankfully, we don't have to make everything at the same time, and we can slow those down. Definitely use the helpers. Now, once you've got that cake made, you can sell it, and, of course, we're going to be selling it in the grocers. Yeah. I like the grocers. You can get a lot of wonderful items there. Grocers I sometimes go to has a lot of cakes as well, but they don't have pomegranate cakes, which is a shame. They could definitely increase their range of items. Right, let's head on back to the dev build, and I'll show you both of these items and the machines and the tree. So let's enjoy it. Okay, we're back in the dev build again. Let's slide on over to my event area. Now I've got two of the machines that we need for the pomegranate products, but first of all, let's bring down the tree. So we slide on over to the trees and move on the way down to the bottom. You can see the pomegranate tree is there. We start placing that beautiful tree out and then we can use that to increase our farm. Now with a brand new area, we got a lot more space for the trees. Now I can speed those up if I wanted to and then uh, get the pomegranates from that one and they look beautiful. Collecting as usual is no difference and then speeding them up again to a level 2 tree. Um, you can see the difference on those ones there. Uh, take that one to level 2 as well. Let's if I go through the whole sequence, it'd be easier for you. There we go. And do that one as well. Harvest on that one, level 3. Three coming up. There we go. Speed that one up. Speed that one up. And speed that one up. Then take the next one as well. Harvest those. And you can see that one's a revive request. And then I can chop it down as well. And that's what a dead tree looks like before it gets chopped down. I need someone to come and revive my trees. Right now, we've got pomegranates. They need to be used and they need to be making good. So we've got the tea stand and we've got the cake oven. As you saw with the two products, this is where you can start making them. Sliding along to the end, there's the pomegranate tea. We can bring that one down and it looks beautiful. Watch an ad to speed it up. Expand uh, and get it done very quickly and it does look very nice indeed. Come on over to the cake, and you'll see the cake is at the end now. Very nice cake. I like the look of that one as well. Bring that one down into the production again, and we can speed it up with diamonds, or uh, we can use the turnaround clock again. So that's the pomegranate and the two products that we've got down there. Wonderful indeed, if I do say so. And Phoebe revived me. She did. Look at that. Oh my God, Phoebe, you darling. That is so cool. I've been revived in the dev build. I like that. <laughs>
<laughs> Yay, I got my first revive. Oh my god, my first revive with the new game. Look at the indication of the way that's been done as well. That is very pretty. I like that. So, Phoebe, thank you very much. That's perfect for my video. It really, really is. I wonder if I can get her to come and do the other one. Come on, darling. Come and do the next one for me as well. Revive that one. Let's see if I can get all of the stages done. You just made that perfect for me. You really, really did. So, yes, she did. You beauty. You wonderful lady. There we go. Thank you, letter sent to Phoebe. And we can speed that one up. There we go. Look at that, everybody. Don't you just love this? Don't you just love this? That is super, super awesome. Yay. Thank you very much, Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> I can play with the other creators. Nice indeed. Bye now. Now we know the answer as to what sanctuary animal we are getting. Meerkats. Now, looking at these two animals, I'm kind of happy with the way that they actually look and the way they interact. They are very cool indeed. As you get more meerkat puzzle pieces, you get the meerkat, and then once you've collected one, you get a habitat for each of those as it slowly upgrades. We've got four habitats as usual to be aimed for, so in the future that means babies as well. I can't wait. Now, two meerkats is a wonderful addition to the game, uh, but two meerkats means two brand new pieces of decoration as well. Now, both of these are rock formed, so the left hand side one there is very rock based with some grass pieces around the outside. The second one is rock based with plants. Now, I love the sanctuary decoration and I wish I could get more and more of them. So, I'm happy the game that we're getting two animals with Deco. Now, as you look at the puzzle piece for the first one, which is the brown meerkat, you can see that this brown one actually has that rock formation. Now, again, I like getting new animals in the sanctuary, and I think two new additions, both the brown and the red one, will be very nice, in addition to the decoration that we are getting with both of those meerkats. But I must admit, I would like some more space in the town and in the sanctuary. So, hey, there, as we move forward through this year, please consider adding more land and area to that especially beach wise would be very good second animal we got down there as i said is the red one again very very nice indeed uh, i like the design on this one and as you can see from the puzzle pieces there the image shows the beautiful flowers as well and they are very nice indeed now these ones are called chinese lantern flowers they are absolutely gorgeous and not so expensive to get either now, as usual, once you collect the meerkats, uh, you've then got to wait a bit of time until you can get the baby ones, which haven't yet been released into the game. So, while you are waiting, it's feeding, 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 and I'm afraid it's meat buckets. So, you're now producing not only wheat bundles, but meat buckets as well for that sanctuary. So, good luck on that side. As I said, there are four habitats, ranging from number one, two, three, and four. They slowly, progressively become bigger as more animals are added, so two adults two babies in the future in another update and the design also changes as well and I love the flower top now if we look at the first two habitats that we can have when the puzzle opens once you've actually got the chance to get it you'll be working towards that first one a simple log with holes a bit of sand built up and a bit of a, a rope and metal bracket there holding the rope in place the second one there is a little bit bigger the third one again becomes bigger and fourth one is even larger the actual log itself also seems to change size which is kind of cool it's almost as if the log is growing yeah. or is the log still staying the same and my picture's just a little bit bigger but i do like the ending right now let's have a look at the video of the actual sanctuary and you can see more details about the animals Okay, we're back in the town and the sanctuary to have a look at the meerkat. So I slide on over to the sanctuary, which I've opened up. Now, if I go to the actual puzzle book, which is located just over here, you can see that I've uh, given myself all of the animals, but I haven't placed any of them down just yet. We slide along to the last two animals, which are the meerkats, and you can see them in all of their glory. There we go. So we've got this beautiful red meerkat, and we've got this beautiful habitat that goes with the one animal so we place that one down then the meerkat arrives and then once the meerkat arrives i can then add in the second one 
look at that beautiful decoration as well and he looks hungry now we click over on the book again and what we can then do is add in that second meerkat so slide back along to the end you'll see that one's now done click on that one there's a little plus mark there which you can see click on the plus mark it says upgrade the house there we go we've gone to level two the meerkat has arrived and we now have a level two home now we do know there are level three and four so we're expecting babies at some stage in the future but that can wait until they've uh, enjoyed themselves now decoration wise very 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 cool now feeding wise as you know it is the bucket so we do the first feed down there second feed down there keep coming with the feeds because they're hungry little bunnies the food is down there they run around they enjoy the area they're very fast aren't they like oh my god where are you going come on brown meerkat go back go back go back there he is he's on his way back and they're sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. I like them. Wouldn't have guessed mere cats from the footprints that we saw, but from the mounds and the holes, I think we really guessed well on this one. So congratulations to everybody that said mere cats. Your answer was right. Now, they will make a wonderful addition to the game. We'll wake those up when they start looking and hunting around. I think this is going to be fun. I really do. I really do. Hey Dave, thank you very much for some additional animals to my collection. I uh, just need you to now expand this area, giving me a little bit more so I can design and be more creative. That would be fun as well. It really, really would. Okay, let's go back to the farm. And I don't need to do that. Okay, next part of the video. Now this next part, as you can see, relates to something that is brand new to the game. And this one's called Daily Rewards. Now every day up in the shop, you have the option of purchasing some goodies from within the game. Now we're actually going to be getting a little chain step, which is called a Daily Reward. And these Daily Rewards will give you something. And if you want to get more, you can watch an advertisement to get the second one. Now the first one is free, literally just tap it and collect it. And there are a pool of rewards that vary day by day. So just like we've got with the movie tickets you watch an advertisement you get something now in the case of this one if you want to watch another one you've got the option to watch an advertisement as well and again you'll get rewards based on that so daily rewards are the new feature that have been added to the actual store giving you some items now those items include diamonds and coins they could be your standard vouchers not chick ones axes saws mine tools bems lems sems and thames so barn land silo and tap expansion materials in addition to that we're also getting a load of new decoration added to the game now the first lot of decoration is going to be derby related and there are some really really cool pieces here there are a couple that I would love to get my hands on and let's walk you through those decorations before we have a look at them now the first one is the starting gate now previously in the past I created a wonderful race design using the stables and a maze I'm going to use this now and make a new design which will be fun next one we got out there is a fence this fence is very beautiful indeed and when you put it together it looks really really cool however you do need to collect a lot of pieces to make a nice bit of fence another one we got down there is the jockey's corner this will be very good against your stables i feel and if you're making a nice design and again i like this one you got your trophy the hat the saddle the boots and the actual jacket as well this one was a very interesting one this one's called derby race winners and i do like this one i think this will be wonderful during valentine's as an example but i like the fact that it's very pretty this for me is probably the most important one of all of them and i absolutely want to get more than one of these because i could use this within a nice design in addition to the derby grandstand i can make a nice little racetrack out of this and a stable with a weopa right now let's head on over to the video and i'll show you this deco okay welcome back again now slide on over to my event area and you can see all of the new decoration down there i've also added a stable just to give you a size perspective here now of all of the deco that's down there my favorite has to be this one here 
Yeah, the jockey one's very nice indeed, but if I put that up against a stable as an example, I've got a very, very nice design feature coming down here where I can start to incorporate and maybe expand a little bit more for a stable style area. In addition to the other decoration we've got within the game, I think I can have a lot of fun with this one. Now in the past I did a nice horse race race uh, example and there's a strong possibility that maybe I can place that one again close to the actual stables and have the horses running from that. Actually it won't work, I've, pro I've tested it, it doesn't work. It's a shame there's no horses inside. But it would again make a very nice design if I wanted to make a racetrack. And because there is a racetrack feature now uh, within the game itself, I'm really tempted to add in the stand as well. Get a few of those in addition to this in the game and I can make a very nice design indeed. Very cool indeed. And you can have so much fun being creative. In addition to the wonderful fence post there, I think this is going to be very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. I can't wait. Ah, you're telling me to collect eggs. I don't need that introduction. Okay, right. Test builds teaching me how to collect eggs. Okay, let's go do it. Come on then. There we go, Mr. Wicker. Yeah, happy now. There you are, happy man. And there we go. We're feeding them again. There you go, Mr. Wicker. Yeah, happy man now, aren't you? <laughs> my scarecrow's interrupting my video. Also like this one as well. I think this one's going to be very nice for a nice uh, romantic one when it comes to, let's just say, uh, Valentine's. But for the moment, we will think about that later. Okay, back to the rest of my video. The second set of deco we're getting relates to the postman. Now, every time you go and help someone and you get gift certificates, those gift certificates can be used to get certain packages. The postman's package collection has been expanded. Two new decorations have been added. Now, I like them. They're okay. One can definitely be used for Christmas and one can definitely be used in the town. Uh, ultimately, though, I'm still trying to think how I can use these effectively. I'm not really 100% sure just from looking at the imagery. Hence the fact the dev build is very useful. Right, now the first one is called the Cloves Dryer. Now, I found that placing these ones together does give you a nice little line of clothing that could be very useful in the town. The next decoration, which is that beautiful festive stage, this one's probably more useful during the winter season, maybe for Christmas. But even then, I'm not ultimately sure. Um... The flower behind doesn't really have a kind of a, a good impression. But let's have a look at the video and see what it's like. Okay, welcome back again. Now slide on over to my event area and you can see the new postman decoration. Like I said, having the dev build makes it so much easier for me to show you this decoration. Now of the two, I must admit, I do like the festive stamp. That's going to be wonderful during a Christmas theme based event, I think. And that will look very, very nice indeed. The clothes dryer is going to be wonderful, I think, behind my house or maybe in the town. By placing a few together, you end up with a nice kind of like a clothes drying line. Uh, and I think, again, maybe I could create something using that decoration. Yeah, as I blend that into other pieces and maybe in my town create a little washing building, it could be fun indeed. But the stage itself is very nice. Now, ultimately, I'm not sure how best I can incorporate these two deco pieces. They are nice. I still don't have a lot of the other ones that have come within the game, but um, I'm in no rush to get them. As and when it happens, they will come to me. But either way, I do like these two additions, and it's always nice to get more decoration, especially when it's a result of helping your friends. So help each other, get the certificates, and you might be able to get your hands on some of these deco pieces pieces. Okay, next part. Easter. That's right, everybody. An Easter event is coming. Now, for Christmas, we had the wrapping machine. For Easter, we've got the Easter bunny. We've got the Easter egg painter, a brand new machine design that's coming back to us for a short period of time so we can progress through doing the event and claim some wonderful rewards. We've got Easter eggs and we've got 
Easter decoration. But let's watch the video and get some more information about what to do and how it's going to work. Enjoy. I know I will. Okay, welcome back to my game again. Now, as you've just seen, we've got a wonderful Easter event coming up, very similar to the Christmas one we had in the past. You've already noticed there is a little bunny with a Easter package up against it on the right hand side. Now the machine, just like normal, is delivered via Alfred. If I come down to the machine shop at the moment, you can see all of the machines I've got down there, and it's actually empty at the moment. Now the package will arrive at your doorstep, just like it did with the previous event. You click on that little package, and it then says, Spring Holiday Production Building. During this event, you will get a special time-limited production building from your farm with the Easter egg maker. You can produce gift items to send off on boats exclusively during the holiday event. The special production builder will be removed from your farm after the event is over. Now, as you know, the event is not a long-going event, but I'm still looking forward to playing this. So, we claim that one. Slide on down to my event area, and let's place that machine down. There it is located just there, the Easter Egg Maker. Place that down there, and I like the look of that one. It does look beautiful indeed. Now, let's expand it. Let's show you what's involved. Having the dev build will definitely make this much easier for me to give you all of the information. Now, there are four eggs down there, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, as usual, you just slide those eggs down into the production machine and they start making. Now, we need more production slots to produce more eggs, so this means I'm going to have to expand. So, let me just move that to the side. We click on the first one, 20 diamonds, 32 diamonds, 44 diamonds, 56 diamonds, 68 diamonds, 80 diamonds, 92 diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds that you're going to need to open up a production machine for a machine that will disappear after a couple of weeks. Do you want to do it or not? Well, that is down to you, but it is a boat event, so there are issues on that side in relation to producing and then using the diamonds. Now, I've got the royal egg down there, and I've got the peacock egg. Very nice. Now, if we look at the mastery down there, it says you can get mastery. So the first mastery is 10%. Okay, next one's 10%, and then the last one is 20%. And each one has a different focus. So 10% chocolate bunnies, okay, plus. Okay, this one, 10% on goods producing faster. And this one is goods will be 20% chocolate. So what I can do is speed this up. Now, if you want to speed it up, that's 150 hours or 30 diamonds. Congratulations. Yeah. I like that. We go back and do it again. Click on that one, and it's 40 diamonds for 150 hours. So, there we go. Lovely indeed. And the last one down there, 300 hours on that one, or 60 diamonds to speed it up. There we go, triple mastery. Lovely. So, the machine is working, it's making eggs. Now, this is a boat event, so... I need it to be producing the eggs that I want for my boat. So let's slide on over to the boat. Now the boat's not arrived, but it tells me I need those beautiful peacock eggs in addition to bell pepper soups and indigo. Let's get the boat now. So the boat is arriving, and how many crates are we going to have, I wonder? Not too many, I hope. Probably three or four crates like before. Right now, uh, you can see down there, there's the regular items to be filled, which is wonderful. Yeah, there's the new boat layout as well on this one. Yeah, farm pass golden. I like this one. Do -do 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 -do. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And those are the eggs. Now, I can ask for help, okay, as normal. So if you can't fill those crates, you can request for help. And then your hoodies can come and help as usual. Or if you've got the resources, you can just do them yourself. Uh, and then basically that is nice as well. So remember, request help or do it yourself. All is good. You get the bonus as well. We can send off the boat. The boat is now done. And I like that. If you're speeding the boats up, as you know, they do cost diamonds, and then the next egg comes down there as well. The boat goes away. My bunny rabbits have gone up to 176 now, which is very nice. So, 
I like that indeed. I do, I do, I do. Mm -hmm. Here comes my next boat. Shame this is not my farm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do this one. Request, request, request. Okay, there we go. Do those. Let's ask for help, ask for help, ask for help, ask for help. I can do them. I do the eggs myself. There we go. Do the eggs myself because I've got them already in my stock. And we get this one done as well just for the sake of it because it's fun. Yes, I like that. Okay, perfect. Send that boat on its way and lovely, 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 lovely. Right, now I've got 464. Now, what do I do once I've actually got all of those eggs produced? Well, I keep making more eggs and then I keep using more eggs and I keep selling more eggs and they will come. I can speed them up if I wanted to with the clock. You know, or I can spend diamonds to get them. But for the moment, I don't need to do that. Now, if I come to the catalogue, the catalogue opens up. I can collect my gift certificate. Thank you very much. I slide on through. We've got down there some wonderful items. Now, will this be exactly the same? I don't know. You'll have to wait and see. Like I said, this is a dev build for testing and doing other things. Uh, but you can see down there some regular items, and I like that one. Well, now, there is some decoration down there, but not yet available. Uh, so I can't collect that one just yet, but it gives me a good idea on what I want to save up for. Uh, so lovely, lovely, lovely. I want that spring bunny. Sliding over. Oh, look at that one. That is gorgeous as well. You know, I'm going to have to show you the decoration in a moment. I will bring them to this farm and you can have a check. Look at that one. The Easter egg hunt as well. Gorgeous. Right, let's go get you the decoration. Right, these are the four deco pieces that are available. For me, I want to get all of those. They are absolutely stunning. They really, really are. These pieces look absolutely gorgeous and I want them. I really do. I specifically love the bouncy castle one. The other ones are nice but are very tiny but these two big ones here will look wonderful with the design. Okay that is the Easter event that's up and coming very soon indeed with the decoration that you've got. I hope you can participate as much as I will do so and good luck on that one. You might need to spend some diamonds so please do use code Red Knight. Okay let's get back to the video. Well what do you think? That's the end of the sneak peek number five. That's the update information that is coming. There is more, and I can't tell you within this video at the moment, but I will try to post a separate video on the details a little bit later. What do you think? Are you happy with the Easter event? Are you happy with the new decoration and the land? Do you like the new features that have been added? Do you like the new design? Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Remember, the update is usually on a Monday, so make sure you've saved your farm details with Supercell ID. And as we progress towards that, comment down below, giving me your thoughts and feelings on what you've seen so far. I like it, and I think you will do too in the long run. Now remember as I said please do use content creator Red Knight as R3DKNIGHT in the green box before you purchase anything. The Easter event is definitely going to be very diamond heavy and if you'd like to get some diamonds please use my code before you buy. Now if you would like to as well you can subscribe to my channel. That is free of charge. Doesn't cost you anything. Uh, you can also watch my other videos and I'll be posting more here as we progress through the month and into next month especially using the dev build. So so I'm happy this has finally come to us and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.